Omega Katana. Greetings, my fellow Katanas. This is your dedicated host, the Omega Katana. And before we plunge into today's content, I'd like to share some things with you. Following this video, I'm thrilled to announce a series of retrospective videos, or a deep dive into the captivating world of video games, courtesy of one of my all-time favorite developers, SNK. This journey will commence with, with an exploration of the legendary King of Fighters series and the cascade into the vast womb of SNK's gaming legacy, or other words, other IPs besides King of Fighters that, are, that I really enjoy greatly. Meanwhile, the Dimension, Pod, the Mega Dimension Podcast continues its journey into the heart of gaming discussions. While the next episode topic begin, may, remains a mystery, rest assured that it's in the pipeline. So stay tuned for more insights into the into the podcast. Now, without out, out of the way, let's shift our focus to the recently concluded Game Awards. And I must confess that the majority of entries and in experience in left me with a sense of bid and be bewilderment and frustration. However, amidst that sea of mediocrity, a few shining moments such as the electrifying SEGA announcement managed to punctuate the monotony. Tell me about it, that's like the best parts of the show! It's that SEGA announcement! Yet the overall, the overall ambience of the event left me pondering. It felt more like a grand display of advertising proudness than a genuine celebration of the winners and their well-deserved acceptance speeches. One announcement that particularly raised eyebrows was Kojima's latest project, an enigmatic, enigmatic game. I can't say anything. A weird title without a hint of gameplay, featuring floating heads uttering seemingly random words. This particular direction led me to wonder if Ko Kojima's departure from Konami was influenced by financial strains caused by such unconventional endeavors. As the show unfolded, Jordan Peele graced the stage delving into topics that failed to resonate with my gaming sensibilities. Speaking of presentations, I advocate for the paradigm the ship urging the inclusion of gaming figures both Japanese and Western to receive the red carpet treatment. Let's divert from the established Hollywood figures whose connection to the gaming world seems tangential or iffy at best. Furthermore, let's celebrate the unsung heroes behind the scenes, including video game composers, com video game composers, artists, programmers, directors, producers, and writers, put them on the pedestal instead besides a Hollywood figure or even a voice actor here or two. That breaks up the monotony of having an award show that celebrates video games and actually sees it more than just a wannabe Oscars, so to speak. Pictured in a, an award ceremony that transcends borders, a celebration of video games worldwide, free from the per preservative influence of Hollywood, Man, ChatGPT, just stop adding big words to, to my scripts, man. A genuine homage to the gaming industry. Excuse me. <laughs> On a disheartening note, the treatment of industry professionals during award presentations left a lingering sense of disappointment. Winners, including the developers of Alan Wake 2 and Baldur's Gate 3, found themselves hastily ushered off the stage by a teleprompter, making way for more advertisements. This discouraging trend in a, in a game award show diminishes the significance of developers' triumphs and favor commercial interest. Now on a brighter note, the affirmation SEGA advertisement, undoubtedly the highest for many enthusiasts. Initially anticipating news of a live action project or a new IP, the reservation of, re re of revived SEGA classics like Crazy Taxi, Jet Set Radio, or Grind in the USA Shinobi, Streets of Rage, and Golden Axe was a delightful surprise. The showcase games included promise, su suggesting a return to the fun and enjoyment, s enjoyment of, the, of Sega's Golden Age. As I conclude my reflections on the Game Awards, I legally wait your thoughts. Share your opinions down in the comment box below the video and don't forget to obliterate that big red subscribe button and ring that blue bell for notifications on upcoming videos. And to our next endeavor, my esteemed katanas, sayonara. And before I close the gates, let me just say that 
the Game Awards needs to do a lot better than, than what I just saw. It is called the Game Awards for a reason. Not the Hollywood Awards. We got the Oscars and the Emmys for that. And and I thought, no wonder why the guy, the director named Joseph says F the Oscars. Because basically, they just ignored his advice and they tried to hire a bunch of actors and famous celebrities on these on the game awards which is for a gamer having like Steven M. Smith or Gonzo the Muppet or any other Hollywood celebrity it's like have if you go into an IT field it's like having like a musician being a guest speaker in an IT convention that does not make any sense it's like we have different fields Whoever's popular or not. And gaming is vast. Like I said before. Programmers. Composers. Background artists. Or artists in general. Writers. Producers. Directors. Programmers. They all deserve a spot in the spotlight. For their achievements. Just for being nominated for game of the year. And and speaking of like a generic. Uh, orchestra hire like game composers on the show for like the segments to break up the monotony to showcase their achievements and yes video game music is a genre too but but with I'm getting really tired of the game awards doing this type of stunts that will bring Try to interest Hollywood, even though they are not. That's that's a different field, and are not interested in video games. They see video games as competition, and video games brings in more cash than freaking TV and movies these days. Despite your Marvel or or Marvel blockbuster here or there. So that's all my quick words for now to save my fellow katanas, and one more thing. I should try to improve chat GPT's grammar and spelling correction software to not include big words. Until then my friends, sayonara and now the gates are closed.